Okay, I think I want to address something with people. Now, most people, when they lose a pet, they stay in really hyper-emotionality and um, loss for quite some time. Okay, and so when people see me, and yes, yesterday, I was very emotional because of what was taking place in that moment, feeling that um, difficulty of Manamu, just the, you know, the, the pain and the things that they were going through and the um, loss of the ability to remain here, okay? So yes, that was very painful, you know, because you don't want to see them suffer. Um, so, you know, for me, it's very emotional the day of, the next day, I'm good. You know, there's a little bit of lingering, but um, that's it. I don't stay, and people say, well, you've got to grieve, you've got, why do I have to grieve? You know, it's like the vet said yesterday, what, you want to stay with him for a while. Why? He's not here anymore. Okay? That's, that's like a vehicle you step out of. He's not in that vehicle anymore. Why do I want to sit with the vehicle when his spirit is already gone? Okay? <laughs> and that's the way it is. You know, um, now I feel May May come up, I feel Max, like I said the other day, he was so palpable that he's here, but there's no physicality of form here, okay? Doesn't mean their energy's not here, their energy, of, you know, many times, uh, yesterday and the other day, I get up and, and I'm like, you know, just because I feel them there, okay? So I don't carry that grieving thing. I'm not in that feeling of total loss because I know absolutely that they are on the other side and they are happy, they're healthy, they're doing great. And so why am I going to grieve that? They left the vehicle behind, okay? The vehicle, from dust were created to dust we go back, okay? The elements of this earth that created that form for that time is done. Okay, so I don't have this long process of grieving. I just don't. Um, so, you know, I appreciate everybody's concern, but please, you know, <laughs> pull it back. Because like I said, I know that they're happy, they're healthy, they're great. You know, yesterday after Manamu passed, I could feel him up there and like a, you, you ever see those little goats that jump in there, kick their back legs? He was like that. And instead of being a little baby puppy, he was full grown. Okay? I saw him in his fullness, in his grown state on the other side, just playing and happy and jumping and, and full of energy and vitality. And so why am I going to grieve? Grieve that he's left the form Okay, now if one is staying in grief, what you're grieving is your, your feeling of loss. Because if you see them, you, you know, you're happy for their transition because they are now on the other side and doing quite well, quite happy, quite healthy. And they don't really want to see us grieving, whether it's a, uh, a parent that's died or a brother or sister or anything. They leave and they're perfectly healthy on the other side and they don't want to see us grieving, okay? Grieving is not necessary. Now, yes, you feel the pain and all the stuff when they're going through that transition state. You know, that's a point of grieving because you know, you don't want to see them in pain and the failing system and the difficulty in that moment that they're going through, okay? 
Yes, then in that time, there is a lot of pain, feeling that, you know, sadness of that leaving. But once they've left and they've gone, okay, they're gone. They haven't really left. They still come back. Their energy is still the same, okay? Their persona is still the same. They just don't have that physicality that is here any longer with you, okay? So, yeah, I know people, um, some people will grieve and cry and cry and grieve that loss. Um, but that's not here. It doesn't happen here, okay? Um, now, I'm sitting with, you know, uh, do I want to get another pet? You know, if you have something like that happen, I think it's best to get back on the horse. Like they say, if you fall off, you get back on right away. Um, but I'm, I'm sitting with the fact that I'm, you know, my age now, etc. cetera. And uh, I, I don't know, I'm taking a lot of things into consideration. Now, I do have to say, uh, I looked online and seen what's there and, you know, rescues, etc., and just pets for sale, etc. Now, I did find some French poodles. Now, people know I lost my little Raj. He was a teacup poodle, okay? He was, he was so, for those that haven't seen Raj, he was really unusual. He was built like a standard poodle. You know, you see teacup poodles and they have the little legs and they're kind of odd. No, he was like a standard poodle. The long legs and everything, it was three pounds. And um, that was Raj. Now, when he was born, I called him Raj Kumar, which is Hindi, and it means the prince. But later, he let me know there is no Kumar. I am Raj. I am the king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I had Raj. I've had a number of poodles. Now, I did when I was young, um, in um, you know middle school and that type of thing, I had a little red poodle. And I called him Pear Pear. His name was Pierre, but I called him Pear Pear for short. A little, um, let's see, what is it? A miniature poodle. He was a miniature poodle. And his name was Pear Pear. Now, I did see online today some young poodles, very young poodles. And then there was another person that had some poodles, and he has one that's a red one that's a young adult. So he's a little bit more grown than, you know, getting an eight-week-old puppy. Um, but I'm, you know, sitting and kind of considering it. I know poodles, they're very, very intelligent, um, wonderful dogs. Uh, so we'll see. You know, do I want another little pet companion? Or without having the pets, I have more freedom to take, take up and go whenever I want, want to go. Because with a pet, when I can't take them with me, I have somebody that comes in here and watches them because I never kennel an animal. I've never, ever sent them out to a kennel. I've always had somebody come into my home and, and to watch them. So... Do I want to still have that? Or because, you know, when I'm by myself, I'm quite fine. You know, I don't feel lonely. I don't feel, you know, I know a lot of people want to have a lot of people around them and hug them and just, you know, I, I don't have that. I don't, you know, I'm quite content by myself. I'm in peace. I'm in quietude. Um, so it's a different, kind of a different um, cognition um, as to there. So that's today I'm kind of sitting with that. Um, 
you know, uh, I think it's always good to give them, uh, give another animal a home. And, um, but at my age, do I want to take that on again or have the freedom to uh, just get in my car and go and uh, do something? So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I did look at, uh, you know, surrounding area at uh, what they have in there. And again, it's all big, big, big dogs, which, you know, I can't, uh, I know that's not the right choice for me because they need to have a lot of exercise and I'm not somebody that's going out hiking and doing that every day. I just don't. <laughs> It's not, you know, it's not my thing. It's not, uh, so anyway, um, that's what's going on uh, right now for me. Do I want to bring in another pet? Because yes, they're, they're wonderful to have, you know, their interactions with you, they're all unique, they're all wonderful and you can give one of them a home. Um, I don't regret having Monamu, even though I only got to have him for a week. He was such a loving being and um, so smart. Oh my goodness. If he would have been able to grow up, he would have been a wonderful, um, a wonderful energy to have here. Uh, for the next 17, 18 years. But uh, unfortunately, that was not to be the case. Doesn't mean his energy is not going to come back and visit. It is, but uh, just don't have his physicality here. Um, so that's what's going on. You know, it makes me sad when people think that I'm grieving and I'm hurting and I'm, you know, we want to be there, we want to hug you, we want to console you. Well, I'm not grieving. <laughs> I'm not grieving. There's nothing to console because I know 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're quite fine. So what am I going to grieve? Am I going to grieve that they're no longer in pain? And, you know, if you know anything about the afterlife, you would know 100% they don't want to see you grieving. Okay? They want to see you happy and healthy and and happy that they're fine, okay? That's that's the way that is. So, you know, I've got a, a different perspective than a lot of people have. So I just wanted to put it out there because it makes me sad to see people thinking that I'm over here boo-hooing and grieving and unconsolable and just in so much pain. And it, it, it's not that way, okay? It's not that way at all. Yesterday, yes. Yesterday, when he was leaving the form, getting ready to transition, and he was in such a difficult state, yes. But today, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second day, I have some little bit of lingering stuff, but by tomorrow, it will be totally gone. So, um... Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. And, um, you know, hopefully I can bring a different perspective to people. Um, and that's what I'm here for. That's what I signed up for, okay? Uh, as a spiritual teacher, a guru, which I've been a guru for many years, you are there to challenge people. You are there to break through their conditioned ideologies to bring them something new, to bring them something higher, better um, in their lives so that they can move forward. Um, life is eternal. You know, the only thing that changes is the outer form. Okay, that's it. But energy just transitions and goes through another metamorphosis. So that's it. Okay. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here, and I'll see you online.